Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make email verification in Laravel. So I am going to start from the very beginning so that you can understand it really clearly. So let's create a Laravel project. So for it, we just need to say over here Laravel new and the project name. Let's say project name will be email verify Laravel and press enter and it will create our project. So our project is created. Uh, so if you come over here, you can see over here a folder email verify Laravel. This is our project. So let's uh, run our project. So first of all, we'll go to our project directory. We we'll see over here cd email uh, verify Laravel. Press enter. Okay, here you can see we are now in the email verified Laravel. So over here uh, for running the project, we just have to say over here PHP artisan serve and press enter so you can see that our project is running so let's go to our browser uh, let me just copy this link first ctrl c and we'll paste it over here and press enter so here you can see this is our laravel project now we do not have any login or registration option over here so let's create the login and registration option so for it uh, let me just uh, open another cmd so i'll go to over here then say over here cmd press enter now i'll say over here composer require laravel slash jstream and then press enter now we'll give another command which is a php artisan jstream then this clone sign then we'll say install then library and then press enter again now we'll give two more command which is npm install then npm run dev so let me just copy it and let's press enter after npm install we'll say this command npm run dev so let's press enter npm run dev is also done now we need to migrate our database but before that first of all we need to create our database so i already opened my project uh, using sublime text if you go to env you can see that uh, the db database name is by default email verify laravel okay so i will just use this same database name so i'll just go to my browser then sam and then click new then I'll click uh, over here. I'll paste the name uh, email verify Laravel. Then click create. So over here, you can see that uh, email verify Laravel database is created. Now I'm just going to go to command prompt again. And over here, I'll just say over here PHP artisan migrate and press enter. So over here you can see that all the database is migrated so now let's go back to our code so first we'll go to app then we'll go to models then we can see over here user.php so over here uh, you can see that uh, there is a function called must verify email so we are just going to say over here uh, user extend authenticable we are just going to say over here implements then this must verify email okay and uh, okay this is done uh, after this we will go to config then over here you can see fortify.php we will go down there down here uh, over here you can see feature email verification uh, so we are going to remove this uh, double slash from here okay so let's save it Control s uh, now we'll go to our .env file and over here over here we'll just directly go to mail mailer uh, over here it is written uh, smtp over here you can see mail host equal mail log so over here we are going to say over here smtp.gmail.com uh, then our port number will be 
four six five and let's keep the username username will be a email that you want to use to uh, send verification messages so over here i'm just going to use this my email uh yam shakil seven at the rate of gmail.com and then after this uh you need to give your mail actual password so i'm going to give my password and after this over here uh, you need to say ssl encryption will be ssl then the, let's say mail form address let's say it will be same thing control c and control v and uh, uh, you need to give mail form name uh, it means it will be your mail subject uh, so let's say over here this is my first laravel mail okay so let's save it control s now uh, now if you change anything in the dot env you need to restart the server so let me just restart it control c php partition serve okay our project is running again now one more thing is that we are using this uh em shackle 7 at the rate of gmail.com this mail so for this first of all we need to go to our mail now over here you can see my mail over here em shackle 7 at the rate of gmail.com now we have to click manage your google account then you need to go to security and you have to come down and over here you can see a uh, less secure app access it is i i made it on by default it will be turned off uh, so you need to make it turned on okay so so once you have this less secure app uh, access option is on then you will be able to uh, send email verification message from your project okay so let me just refresh our code so over here you can see login and registration so now let's click register and uh, let's say over here my name then let's say email uh, let's say it will be uh, let's say it will be yeah here yeah mean on at the rate of gmail.com so let's keep the password now let's click register it may take some time to uh, send email so just wait around like 30 seconds okay so over here you can see uh, email verification message that uh, will gladly send you another thanks for signing up so if you go to that certain email and uh, refresh over here okay the, you can already see this is my first laravel if you can see this is uh, uh, this was our uh, mail subject over here so over here you can see a uh, verify email address so if you click it it will take you to your uh, dashboard in the laravel project okay so this is how you can make email verification in laravel and uh, one more thing that is i want to show you over here you can see that i write everything in the dot uh, env the email address and the password but instead of here you can just uh, instead of here you can just write it uh, in the mail.php over here uh, you can see mails smtp then uh, over here you can see that uh, transport smtp over here uh, you can see that it is actually taking the mail from our env so you can just directly mention the email over here then you can just mention the port then the encryption username password okay so this is another way if you want to like make a dynamic uh, now if you want to like uh, say, uh, give the email dynamically uh, like the admin will add the email then uh, you can send the email over here dynamically okay so this is how you can do email verification in laravel so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you now learn how you can make uh, email verification in in laravel it is really easy so if you like this video please like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll really appreciate if you uh, subscribe my channel and if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section and uh, thanks again for watching